everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, today I've got a very interesting kit to share with you today. This is actually the, one of the very first armor kits that the model company Sabre has decided to do. This is in 35th scale, and this is the JLTV, and it's uh, the M1278 uh, heavy guns carrier. And what's so unusual about this is Sabre's really known for all of their rail cars. They make quite a few of different rail cars. But this is their first jump into, like I said, the armor type of thing. And they went crazy with all of the extra stuff. In fact, as you see in the box here, there's bonus nine in one. And what that means is there's nine different types of special bonus materials that are added to this kit. So there's like a, a wooden pallet that you build up. That's made out of real wood. There's uh, 3D printed items. There's metal parts. There's photo etch parts. There's all kinds of really interesting stuff to really kick this up a notch, so to speak. And um, I got this in and I started looking through and I was really excited about this kit because it's just of all the extra stuff inside. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna tear into this and show you all the cool parts inside. So let's get started. Here it is, here is the Sabre Models 135th scale premium edition. This is the JLTV or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle or also known as the M1278 Heavy Guns Carrier. Now, this is the premium edition in the sense that it has the nine in one bonus, which you see called out right here on it. And the nine in one bonus, we're gonna flip to the side here and obviously we're gonna show you inside as well, but there is a ton of bonus materials in here. There are photo etch pieces, there are wood pieces to create a little wooden pallet, water bottles, water jugs, uh, 3D printed parts, uh, metal parts, just all kinds of really cool things to really kick this kit up a notch. And what we're gonna do right now is tear right into it. So let's take a look inside. Okay, let's jump right into the first sprue. This is our A sprue. This has our chassis and some of the other parts like our hood with the, the section of the vehicle that has the lights on it. Look how nice that is molded. Nice slits for the air intake. And right here we have our doors. Look how thick the, uh, the plating is there where the armored glass is gonna go inside. Very, very cool. Then over here, this is our chassis, and you see that distinctive curve shape right here, and that is if the vehicle runs over an IED or some other kind of explosive, that it would uh, hopefully dissipate a lot of the energy to the side with that curve shape to it. But yeah, take a look at that, very nice. And then these parts over here, look how deep the molding is on it. It's reminiscent of the way Tamiya does a lot of stuff where you've got some of these big deep parts not slide molded at all because you see a little parting line on there but very nicely done next up we have the uh the shielding that goes around the top of the vehicle for like where the like the machine gun nest is and that is this right here we've got the the hatch and all of that extra armor plating up there very cool the next sprue I'm going to show you, you actually get two of this sprue here. It does have a little bit of slide molding. We'll show you that in a minute. So this has got our, our seats, our wheels, some of the suspension parts. Here's that slide molding I was talking about. That has it for like the edges of our, uh, where the wheels are going to attach to the vehicle. And someone, actually not someone, a lot of people have been asking to explain slide molding. And it's easiest to show it on this particular piece here. So a normal mold would just be a top and bottom piece would come together. They would inject plastic into it. Parts done right here. A slide mold, you can usually tell with this bump out right here. And what it is, is there's a top and bottom that sandwich it together like this, but then there is another piece of the mold that slides in here. And that's how we get these hollowed out pieces here. So the piece will put the two halves together and then they'll inject the slide into it, inject the plastic, pull the slide out, and then pull the two separate halves together. And it's just a way of getting extra detail. Uh, rather than having to glue two parts together to get this hollowed out area, they can do it on just one sprue. So that in a nutshell is slide molding. And then like I said, you do get two pieces of that, two sprues of that. Now we've got some of the other big armored parts like the sides. Man, look how nice those are. 
Get you up and close in there. I personally appreciate when the hinges are attached like that. Sometimes attaching those little tiny hinges is kind of tough. And, and look at the detail you can get just by having them bolted on there. Or, yeah, just like that. Flip that around. Now we're going to have, it looks like part of the dash, the steering wheel, some of the other parts, part of some of the chassis too. These are parts inside there. So take a close up look at that dash. Some of the computer system that goes inside, pipes. Just like that. And then we've got this piece. This piece comes separately bagged. So obviously this is the rear portion of the vehicle. Nicely all molded together like this. Nice piece on that. Couple more pieces to show you right here. We have our interior and you can see where all of the seats are mounted. Now you can have a little extra armor protection underneath those. Flip this around here. Here we go. Here's some more slide molding here. This is probably a little bit easier to see as a slide mold. You can see the holes that um, are put inside there. And then this little bar gives it away that it's a slide mold. Just like that. Another piece. Here's some little accessory pieces here. So this has got our 50 cal machine gun, which has been slide molded right there. There's the rest of the, uh, the piece. Next up, I'm gonna show you the, the tires that come inside this kit. And we're gonna get in there as close as we can and let you see the, the detail on these. Nice tread on it. Uh, you will get five tires total, including the spare. I like the little the little extra bulging that they put right around the edges in here. It makes it look very realistic looking. Yeah, you see how that is and reflecting on the light now? Like the ripples in the side of the tire. Yeah, very, very nice looking. You're also going to get some clear parts. Now, I'll leave these in the bag because there's no use taking it up. They are crystal clear, but we have all of our armored glass right here. As you can see that, and then also the rest of the, the glass pieces that go inside the vehicle. And, and now I can show you the bonus pack of materials that come inside this. And as I said earlier, there is a lot of extra stuff inside here. Uh, photo etch, wood, metal, all kinds of clear parts. Start off with right here, down in the corner here, we have a laser cut wood palette. And the pallet is really cool. I'll show you in the instructions there that you build that up and you load it up with supplies and things that they would have just loaded the whole pallet right into the back of the vehicle. Up in here, kind of move this around and hopefully not reflect. I don't want to take all these parts out because there's a lot of little fragile parts and a possibility of losing them, but you'll be able to see pretty good uh, here. So we've got the seat belts up in the corner here, photo etch seat belts. We've got some antennas all made out of uh, metal. We have underneath here the metallic. Uh, parts to make the the mirrors so all of that is done up then all in through here we've got 3d printed antennas we've got close up in here the 3d printed uh, sleeve for the 50 cal barrel because the barrel comes in uh, turn brass we've got some turn brass antennas and underneath that you can see we've got the full setup of mass for the vehicle all the windows are done up as well as the lights We've got a huge set of, uh, set of photo etch right here. And then of course, all the decals that go on this kit. And then this is really cool. This is like a bonus pack of water bottles. Let's see if we can get in there. You see the water bottles themselves right here. These are the big jugs, the smaller water bottles, all kinds of different shapes and sizes. And then underneath there, there's a full set of decals to, uh, to print those up or put those on, give them a nice label on it. And then underneath that is some cardstock with actual boxes that you can create for the water bottles. There is one more set of plastic parts inside there. And then underneath that is a, another sheet of photo -ed. So we have our diamond plate on here, and then even a set of signs that you can put, uh, 
put around the vehicle. There we go. You can see that kind of in there. So all of this stuff is in this uh, bonus edition here. So a really good value uh, that they're going to be able to include all of this 3D printed metal, wood, you name it. It's, it's inside of here. Now, having shown you all that, now we can take a quick look at the instructions and show you how all of this kit goes together. And here are those instructions. And you see the complete breakdown of all of the parts that come inside this kit, including all of the bonus parts that are in there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of things on there. And then now I am just gonna let you look at all of the the pretty instructions we'll call it ah uh, look at that there's even some water bottles up in the front up in the front dash that's kind of cool And you'll notice too that the instructions are in color so it helps break down how things go in order and where things are getting put on as opposed to just the black and white line drawings there's going to be obviously quite a bit to this kit too And you'll see in the, the kit too, how it calls up when there's an upgrade to be added somewhere on the kit. And here are the markings. So we have desert and then in three-tone NATO. I like the driver's training on that too. And then here you go in the back here is the upgrade of the pallet. And that shows you how you build the pallet up, put the water bottles and all the other things put together and then load it up, and throw it into the back of the vehicle. And there you go, guys. There is a look at the Sabre model, soon to be released, 135th scale JLTV, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or M1278 Heavy Guns Carrier. I, I may have not pointed out, and many of you probably know, this is a United States uh, vehicle. Uh, this is uh, something new in our arsenal. Uh, also, another thing too, should also point out, I love the fact that these come in their really thick, heavy duty boxes, and they're a fold up box like this. So it really protects the parts inside. It's very thick cardboard, and I really like the way those are, are done on something like this. Now, from what I understand, obviously this is a completed kit, and it is due to ship out within the next couple of weeks to us here. This was just the early sample copy they got to us hot off the presses. And unfortunately, I do not have an exact retail yet, but from what, um, what I've been kind of told, it should be about the $60 range maybe uh, 60 to $70 range because of all the extra parts in there. Uh, we'll know a little bit more about that and it'll be up for pre-order very soon, as soon as we get the uh, the final confirmation from Sabre. And of course, when you go on our website, andyshhq.com, you'll know you'll get the best price possible uh, on a kit like this. And also because they're almost done completely now with all this, they will be shipping out from the manufacturer in China and should be arriving here in the United States sometime in early to mid February is our uh, a date. And like I said, we will have it up for pre-order on our website as soon as we get all the particulars in. That way we can start taking pre-orders on it and you can get one reserved for you in your name. So there you go, guys. I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.